Hi, I'm Bowtie Dave. Good morning, this is Bowtie Dave, and uh, we're back out here in the Florida room, and looky here, we got more tomatoes to plant up. I've already done another tray over here of, uh, what is this? This is Principe Borghese. It's a good little uh, determinate cherry tomato that we've been growing a while now. They're pretty good. And uh, right here in front of me, I have a more Nebraska wedding. I actually already have a bunch of these. We are gonna have far more Nebraska wedding plants than we're gonna need, uh, but we do like the tomato, so we'll have plenty for us and plenty to give away as well. But you can see here, in fact, you, you can see uh, there's several stems here. Let me pick this one here. This is a real good one because you can see the cotyledon leaves. These are the leaves that come up with the uh, seed, out of the seed, and then the stem. Stem is a little bit long on this one, um, but it has its true leaves up here. It has uh, one true leaf right there, has uh, one, two, it's coming out with even more, it has a few more true leaves. Uh, ideally, we could have planted this up earlier, but one thing to remember about tomatoes is that this stem can uh, make uh, roots all the way up it. So I'm gonna try to get it as deep as I can in the dirt in my Solo cup. And uh, I, have, I have over here, um, I have a mix of uh, potting soil with some of my really nice compost, uh, about half and half. And then I supplemented it with a dose of Dr. Earth's uh, organic plant food. The Dr. Earth is a little bit more nitrogen, uh, NPK, nitrogen, uh, phosphorus, potassium, NPK, NPK. Uh, nitrogen gives you green stuff. The phosphorus gives you roots and a little bit of fruits. And the K, uh, the potassium gives you fruits. So the combination of the last two numbers uh, give you the fruits. So NPK, shoots, roots, and fruits is kind of the, the rule of broken thumb that I use. Um, it's not perfect, but it kind of gives you an idea. But right now, see, in the beginning, at this stage here, we want more shoots. We want more roots. So the Dr. Earth has more N and P, more nitrogen and phosphorus in it. So it will encourage these plants to grow uh, their roots and more greenery. So they'll, 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 be, they'll be good to go. Uh, you'll notice here that when I pull this out carefully, and I've got, this is an offset spatula knife that I love to use. Um, gets in there and lifts the whole root ball out. Uh, eh, looks like I only got part of it that time, but it's, it's okay. These, uh, oh, in fact, look at there, the roots have gone over into the next cell, which is, that's okay. To, oh, no, those roots are going into this cell. But you can see these roots are all ready to look for new uh, ground to grow into. But I'm going to pinch off these cotyledon leaves so they don't, they don't uh, rot, um, which... I'm supposed to do that the day before. Uh, you put this underground, it's fine. I've actually never had a problem with that, but I take this cup and look at there. See how deep it'll go in there? All the way to the bottom. There's nothing in there. Just all the way to the, there's a little bit of dirt in there. But I'm gonna just bury that as low as I can because we're gonna get roots all along that stem. And tomatoes are real easy to do this. They don't. Uh, freak out when their roots are messed with. They, they, they don't freak out when they're, when they're out of the soil for a few minutes. Um, you don't want to just leave them sitting out, obviously, because uh, they will die without, uh, without their soil. But now look, I remember that little tiny root ball we had. It didn't hold much moisture. This is going to hold a lot more moisture. So sitting out there in the garden, uh, this is going to live a lot longer. This thing can grow two feet tall. Uh, even three feet tall in this little solo cup. Uh, hopefully it'll get in the ground somewhere before then or in a larger pot, uh, given away, whatever. 
Uh, but that's going to make a lot of really good cherry tomatoes. So that's what I'm doing here is just planting up uh, some of these tomatoes. Now, I uh, wanted to show, and, and, and I've talked about this before. I, I, I've, I, uh, I share the, oh, now this is interesting. What is this? Okay, so, well, I've never seen this before. This uh, even feels weird. It looks like a tomato stem, but the leaf doesn't look like a tomato. It may, I don't know what that is. Um, if in doubt, just pinch it off. There we go. Because this thing has a great root system. Looky here, see that root system is fine. It's a little bit more, it might be root bound, but look, that's, that's the end of the root right there. That's it. It's not having a problem. So pinch off the cotyledon leaves because you know it, I'm gonna bury this thing all the way, all the way up to the high as I can. And again, well, let me actually go ahead and get some soil in a cup here because I'm going to do the same thing. Now you don't, when you're handling these, you don't wanna squeeze this stem at all. Some people say actually lift by the leaf. Uh, and that's actually really good advice because if you pull a leaf off, you're not gonna really hurt the plant. It'll grow a new leaf. I mean, you can see it's already growing new leaves. But uh, if you break the stem or squeeze the stem and pinch it, uh, you probably have killed the plant. It's very likely to kill the plant that way. But, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to hold this here. And kind of keep it as close to the center as possible. Whoop. And I'm, so my mix has leaves and stuff in it. In fact, I've got a ton of just leaves here that I've pulled out as I've been going along. And just gently fill that thing up. I'm, and I'm just giving a little pressure to hold it in place. Uh, scoop out a little more here. And I'm gonna get that soil as high up here. Now this soil, like I said, has compost in it, has Dr. Earth's. Uh, this thing is fed. Uh, I will still give it a shot of um, fish emulsion with, uh, with two gallons of water and a tablespoon or two of fish emulsion uh, to uh, give it some more oomph. The fish emulsion gives it more nitrogen, which is all green. So these things should shoot up. Uh, I'm trying to get into the habit of feeding more of the fish emulsion to my plants on a regular basis. I'm not doing a great job, but you got to give yourself some grace because... Uh, God wants these things to grow. He's made them to want to grow. And it's great because you can learn. Feel free to, you know, make a mistake. Don't worry about making a mistake because all a mistake is is an opportunity to learn. So even the mistakes are useful in the garden. And this is true, of course, of a lot of things, but <laughs> I just think it's even mostly true because uh, in the garden, uh, just the way, because of the way God made it. So I'm pinching off these cotyledon leaves again, just to give it another little bit. Now, you'll notice here, I don't want to bury this all the way down at the bottom because the plant would be down inside the cup, but I do want to put it about that deep in there. So I'm going to put a little bit of soil in here for that to set on so that it can sit there. So that's what I'm doing today. I have a lot of plants to plant up. We're uh, getting uh, some solar panels installed on our roof and some uh, upgrades to our house done today. So I'm just here trying to get some stuff done and stay out of the way where I can still kind of keep an eye on things. But um, anyway, so I had to break to go um, answer a couple of questions. But uh, anyway, these uh, cups, by the way, are all recycled cups. I did not go out and buy 500 solo cups. Um, they are recycled from an, a monthly event that we have here at the house, me and Mrs. Bowtie, with our church. And so uh, if we didn't have that, I wouldn't have solo cups. I'd use something else, probably. I do have a lot of these um, Bonnie Plants cups around that I could use as well. But uh, 
I didn't really cover this yet. As far as breaking up this uh, um, root ball, I, maybe I did cover it. I've been in, it's, this is two hours later. Um, this root ball, it's got a lot of dirt in it. And if you go in here and just gently, and I mean gently, I'm not breaking anything, I'm not squeezing it hard, I'm just working out some of the soil. You see it's already getting out some of the soil. And I'm not squeezing the stem, I'm just holding it gently. But see, this will, I hear a little bit of cracking. Ideally, if you can get it to where there is no more soil in it, uh, this one's a little more stubborn because they are more tied in. But look at there, see? That's still plenty of root. Plenty for a tomato plant. And they're nice and moist. And see these two tomatoes, they're not connected. They have their own root systems. And look at there, they just come apart. So a bucket of water is really useful for, for doing that. And I'll actually just leave them in there for a minute while I'm potting them up potting them to the solo cups. But what I'll do with these uh, is I'll fill a cup kind of halfway. You see it's kind of the edge is filled up here. And then what I can do is I can actually lay this down inside there like so to where it's just laying on top of the soil. And now I can just fill this in And it doesn't matter that if it doesn't stay just perfectly in the center, I try to keep it there just to kind of keep everything centered and my, make my OCD happy. But it doesn't have to be. That's pretty good. Pretty close to the center. It's not rocket science. Don't make it rocket science. So, you know, I was sitting here doing this before I turned on the camera and I've actually potted up a bunch of other plants yesterday. I didn't turn on the camera, but you know, someone turned on a camera for me a number of years ago and recorded just this very basic process. This is a lot of root on this tomato. I'm going to go ahead and pinch off that cotyledon. But just, I just set that whole thing down in there, and that root is kind of gathered around there, but this is going to grow a lot of more roots. But anyway, so someone else turned on the camera for me, and I appreciate Jess over at Roots and Refuge for doing that, because this all started from that day. I, th I know I've mentioned before, there's a playlist and uh, on my on my YouTube page, that is three videos of, of hers. Um, two of them are actually two of the three that I looked at. I went back and looked at it. The, one of those videos is too new to be one of the original videos I looked at, but um, yeah, uh, that's what got me started in all this and I'm very thankful for that. And, you know, it's just a matter of you, you want to, pay it forward and someone did that for me and I know I'm going to do this for my future self to encourage me myself I mean, and it's funny because I watch YouTube videos and someone starts talking about something and I think oh I need that's a reminder I need to go do that in my garden so I'll pause the video and I'll go take 10 20 minutes go do that task and then come back <laughs> I do that all the time. My ADD brain just doesn't remember all these things. In fact, uh, Chicago Gardener reminded me I had potatoes out there. Uh, I actually commented about that on her video when she planted up, when she planted out some potatoes. I forget what I've got out there hidden in the corners of the property and. Those video tours I do at the end of the month help me remember what I've got sitting out there. Which we're recording video tours here in just a few days for the end of April. That will be 
the official beginning of year number two of producing videos for Bowtie Life. Hard to believe. I remember the day that uh, Jesse over at Plot 37 did that and she got to the end of year one. She couldn't believe she was still doing it. And uh, just excited to do it as she was in the beginning. Well, I can relate to that now. This one's a little stuck in here, so I'm using the spatula to, see there? Just lifted right out. I got a little one here on the side, and I know a lot of people would actually just pinch off the small one. Um, sometimes I'm just a little too cheap to do that. But anyway, if this is uh, at all in informational, educational, or just entertaining for you. Maybe it helped you remember you needed to go up pot some tomato seedlings. Please click the thumbs up on this video. This is a little fiddly sometimes. Oh, looky there. Perfect. I felt a little bit of popping, but see, that's the optimal size for up potting a tomato. It's just got just enough root. Got some dirt on it. When I water it, it'll it'll be better. But that's pretty good size right there. If you haven't subscribed already and you're just stumbling along finding this channel, please subscribe. We're trying to grow our part of the community out of the greater community out there of other YouTubers that are talking about gardening. People that are committed to helping others grow their own food. Not to be 100% self-sufficient, but at least on your way to it. You know, even the settlers in the Old West were not 100% self-sufficient. Pa would go into town to the general store and order something or whatever. But every little bit helps, you know, we, we talk about the, uh, in fact, I was just talking to someone back uh, during World War era, uh, the Victory Gardens, and uh, they were concerned about, um, they were concerned about food shortages during that time. And so Americans started planting Victory Gardens, and... They planted so many, people planted so many gardens, they estimate that people preserved over a billion, with a B, a billion packages of food during those few years that completely eliminated any food shortages. And, and uh, you know, in today's day and age, we've, we've, we've seen a lot of that. And uh, we're... we're most of us are pretty versed in seeing few food shortages in the store. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, everyone doing their part. And it's not much. It doesn't take, you don't have to grow a garden like mine. Even if you're growing a few tomato plants in a raised bed or on a, on a couple of grow bags, or in a, for that matter, in a five gallon bucket like I started out. In fact, I just found a picture from when I started out. Let's see if I can insert it here. But uh, every little bit helps. We ate pretty good out of those five gallon buckets. So, anyway, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, I appreciate your. You coming along, coming back and watching the video. I got a whole lot more seedlings I'm going to get done. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine or ten out of that. But uh, anyway, please share with your friends. Comment below if you have any questions or comments, or if you're doing the same thing, uh, tell me what you're doing these days 
Are you up, what are you up potting or getting and getting ready to go in the garden? We have so many beds ready to get moving, and uh, I'm I'm anxious to get some of these out. Though I've got way too many tomato plants for what I need. Uh, I like keeping some spare ones just in case some die. So they'll continue to grow in these cups, and I'll pinch off the buds and let them go. And last year we had some five foot long tomato stems growing in these yellow or orange <laughs> red solo cups and uh um they can they can sit in in reserve in case something dies and you need to fill a spot in but uh we'll have plenty of tomato plants and then we'll we should have a number to be able to give away quite a few as well Oh, in fact, looky here. Okay, so the camera is not going to do a great job. Oh no, it's a. It actually is a leaf. I thought it was doing a bud here. It's not. It's a leaf unfurling. Uh, if it, if there were buds growing on any of these, I would pinch them off just just barely the tip or squeeze them uh, to keep the buds from developing because you don't really want buds developing on on. Uh, this small of a plant. You want it to focus on uh, root and leaf, leaf development so it'll have the ability to sustain itself uh, once it's in the ground. Then, once it's in the ground, it's ready to get going. But anyway, I'm gonna keep planting up tomato plants and y'all get out there planting and have a blessed day.